What's up, YouTube? Today we're going to play a little bit of Naya Zoo with the old elf. So it's the first deck I ever played in Modern. Um, it's not perfectly built. There's a couple budgetary or budget issues. Like, for example, these two wooded foothills should be four wooded foothills and there should only be two arid mesas. And there should be a horizon canopy, but <clears throat> I didn't... Didn't want to buy them for one stream. If I begin to play the deck more often, then um, then I will look to play it a little more. But for now, we're just going to go like this. <clears throat> Exclamation point cheer. I don't, I, don't, I don't know what you're doing, Rafi. You're just putting, you're just, you're just spewing. League. I played a league with this this morning. Went three and two after thoroughly tossing a game. I beat Storm, which is amazing. Rafi, you aren't even subscribed to me. Like you know, Rafi, you're you're fake news. That's what you are. Twitch told me to cheer. You know, I'm telling you not to be fake news. That's what I'm telling you. <clears throat> so, I basically, now this deck's built, and how I used to build it back in the day, <clears throat> was I had, my entire main deck was good against fair decks, and my the rest of my sideboard was all against combo decks. So, with the exception of, I have one path and one scavenging news that I just side out for these two Kasali Pride mages, but they're not good against fair decks. All the rest of this is just for, like, random crap in the format. That's okay. Maybe I'll change for your birthday. What a present. What a present. All right. This is, this is what we do. We're really going to hope. <coughs> really going to hope that our opponent is a control deck. And I can just cram this Loxon on Smiter right down their neck. No, you keep these hands with this deck. You're already not beating combo decks in game one, so you might as well mulligan to a hand that's like, you know, at least does something. And if like if this is a horrible hand, then this this is the problem with the deck. It's not. <laughs> it's not like the deck doesn't produce anything else that's better than this. Like this is what it does. Hopefully, this, I mean, if this thing gets bolted, at least my Dharma Wife's huge. I really hope I'm not playing against Storm. Playing against Storm would not be good. Exclamation point deck problems. Yes. We're, if we're going to go with a deck building flaw with this deck is that you have to keep hands with a bunch of big dumb morons <clears throat> and no interaction. Okay. We're playing like a... What is that? I don't really know what this is, but I'm going to fetch a basic. I'm going to play the Darmoloif. <clears throat> this is not the greatest Darmoloif deck, but it is at least a high-powered 2-drop. All right, confirmed. All right, so let's get in here with this Goyf. And then I'm going to run this Loxodon Smiter right into this Remand. My opponent's going to cry. <coughs> opponent's like, yeah, ready? They're going to Remand this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, they didn't do it. Had to flat cycle tell the ticket. Steve. <clears throat> so I can just play this. And I think I'm just attacking and pumping. I don't even think I'm gonna play into this mana. I'm just gonna run Steve over.
Pillapala for life. What a guy he is. Much appreciated, Nathan. Just turn this on. So we're going to get in for eight. <clears throat> Our opponent is Dobbs. Unless they can, like, cryptic me. I guess they could cast, but even they're dead, even they cast Primeval Titan. Well, I'll be right back. Hey. Hey. You were just asleep. You were just within that time. <clears throat> okay. So, against this deck... I'm actually gonna. Th I might actually even bring in choke against this deck. This is like pretty medium. The Thalias are slam dunks. Um, the path. I don't know if they're playing Primeval Titan. I know the Domries aren't good. The paths are kind of medium. I like all the rest of my creatures. The Pride Mage could be okay because it could play. Uh, I've seen this deck play Search for Escanta, and it could play uh, Prismatic Omen. So I have like four that are definitely good. And I think all of these are bad. So these are definitely coming out. I think that this Pride Mage is better than this Domri. And if I can find two other cards to take out, I'll board in the chokes. But I don't know. Like the Scavenging Oozes aren't great. And like the chokes aren't very good either, but they can at least like slow our opponent down. An emote only room? What does that mean, Rafi? Does that mean other people can't chat? Are you bullying people, Rafi? Now you have to like unemote it. But I do have the best emote on Twitch, which is that the old Philly dog, who's being a little stinker right now. Aren't you, buddy? Being a little stinker. I think I'm gonna sideboard like this. I don't think I'm gonna bring I might bring the chokes in on the play. But these scavenging users aren't very good. You know what? I'm not I'm not gonna win. I'm not gonna win the game with a bear. I might win the game with a choke. <clears throat> they both are kind of, you know, oh wow. We're gonna ship this one. We drew both the chokes. Dude, they're white border too. Holy shit. All right, put on top. So we're gonna play this this ravine, and then we're gonna play Thalia next turn. Hopefully, we can slow our opponent down a little bit. What is this? This Thalia gets down. It's gonna be kind of sweet. It at least like harasses whatever they're doing. Suspend, okay. Um, I think I'm going to play this. Like, it's not going to be much bigger than the time where I... Ooh, Spell Snare, got it, okay. Well, I'm going to jam this Loxodon Smiter right down his throat. Steve? Steve? All right, so at least we're going to be able to Blood Braid Elf. Now, now I kind of want to play my Tarmogoyf. Because my opponent doesn't have a counter spell up. And I can just like bolt their face. If they need to, then untap an elf. Yeah, I want to jam this Loxon Smiter when they have like counter magic up. These Thalia are going to be super good on the play. Like Thalia is always. I used to board in Thalia on the play where I where I played against this deck when I was against like any three color good deck, any good set deck. Whether it was Jund, um, blue, white, red, any sort of like spell based three color good stuff deck. I ain't cryptic. I'm gonna bolt this depending on what my opponent does here. Because if my opponent plays a sorcery and makes this, well, it's Tarmogoyf a four or five now, so it makes more sense to bolt this tilt. 
Um, now I could like save the bolt. I'm actually just gonna like bolt one of these and hope they go get an island so that if I hit a choke, it's so much better. Off this cascade. Like I know I know I'm fishing here. But like I'm not it's not like my lightning bolt's gonna kill them anytime soon. Spin it. Cast my tutu. Cast my tutu. I think next turn I'm just gonna like activate this knight, fire it up a couple times, and then just turn these theory with the ravine sideways. Or I could just play nah, I'm gonna play. I could just go get my wolf run and then play. I'll probably just go get my wolf run and play Smiter and Nicodle. And here we're just like dead. So I used to play an Aven Mind Sensor in this deck. So maybe that's something I should think about. Those basics are ugly AF. They are free AF. That's right on time. All right. So getting in. With these two, we're going to hold the knight. All right, we're jamming this choke. I should have used my knight. I clicked through that, and I used playing the knight. You terrorist. Come on. Come on. Yeah. I was so excited to choke them. That, watch it. They're just going to, like, untap, and they still have enough mana, and they're just going to, like... They're just going to escape shift me and still kill me. Dude, my wild Nicodle's not even active. God, I forgot this deck did that. So next turn, that guy just wanted to play a fair game of Magic. Coming from the dude that wants to play a fair game of Magic. So next turn, I'm going to animate this. I'm going to tap flow here. So this gets him for 4, 8, 11. So we're, we technically have a lethal attack next turn. Thought you were better than this, Dylan. You're a monster. Did I tell you, like, I used... <laughs> Nathan, thank you very much for the bits encouraging this this behavior. God, I, I used to play Blood Moon in this deck. All the time. But yeah, we're actually attacking for lethal next turn. <clears throat> I'm just saying. Blood Moon is acceptable. Think of the impression leaving for Philly. Well, he's a, he's depending on the time of day, he's enough of a pissant where it doesn't really matter. Suspend search. Shock. All right, dude. Well, you got to have some interaction here, or you are dead. And if my opponent cryptics me, then they, they like triple stone rain themselves. So like I'm okay with it. Um, I'm gonna get stomping ground. God, this deck hits me like right in the feels. And I have to I have to do this right now because I'll lose the mana from the night. I guess I could have done I don't even really care if my opponent cryptics me. My opponent cryptics me, then like, I mean, whatever. They just they they spend four man. They spend their entire turn, lose three lands. It's like whatever. I'm cool with it. Not perfect sequencing here, but like, tap bounce choke. All right, all right. That's a good uh. That's a good line there that I did not think of. My opponent's definitely got the cryptic. They're thinking about it. They can't snap cryptic. But if he taps and bounce choke, he doesn't really get anywhere, right? That's exactly what he's doing. I mean, it gives him a chance. 
He gets basically one draw step. Yeah. Okay. So he gets one draw step. Because <clears throat> now he's just Dob again. I can't. I wasn't really beating Tap Bounce Choke anyways, right? Oh god, did he hit it? What a savage. Oh, Obstinate Bayloth. Okay. All right, can I beat the Bayloth? Hang on. Block. Animate Ravine, block. Eight, 14 now. Okay, stop. Stop it. So I can't actually beat... What if I get a Kessig Wolf run? So... He, if I attack with just these, he blocks here. Six, no way. So I'd have to not use the Knight. If I fire up the Ravine, it's four, eight, 14. He goes down to two. So I might as well just like... It doesn't really matter, right? Can I Ghost Quarter or anything to make... Is that relevant? No. Um, so I might as well just attack with everything, play Locks on Smiter, play Thalia, or I can at least stone, well, well, okay, 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 maybe, do you think he has another basic forest? Because I could, uh, I could play my, attack with these, or just attack with this, okay, then in his draw step, I can play the choke in his draw step, hit this stomping ground. And then maybe he doesn't have another greed and can't cast scape shift. Because, like, this deck can't play that many basics. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Just make sure my attack's lethal next turn. So if I attack with this, he blocks. Next turn I've got four, eight, yeah. So just going to ship it in here with the Tarmogoyf. Then we're going to play Loxon, Smiter, and Thalia. And then in his my opponent's draw step, I'm going to Ghost Quarter this. Dude, yeah, you're a mod. All the cool guys are mods. Might as well. I don't think it matters what I do here. That was that was funny. I didn't even realize that when that happened, Nathan. All right, so we want this search go off. Oh shoot! I meant to play my choke. Oh, we're all over the place. So now that other line doesn't really matter. We we win, idiot. Yeah, still playing shadow. We're playing this for fun, though. I never knew I was uncool. He had another forest anyway, so it didn't matter. So now we'll just let this happen. We'll go get our wolf run. Like we definitely like muffed our lineup here, but they had another they had another forest. All right, let's go get the wolf run. Now we go to combat. Send the team. Opponent blocks this. I will front it, and it's four, eight, nine, a million. <laughs> Where's the pupper cam? We haven't gotten him a pupper cam yet. Four, seven, ten, fourteen, sixteen. Pass priority. Okay. Sweet. Don't hate to get a puppy cam. I'm going to be streaming the Modern Challenge on Saturday on my birthday. And I'm going to set up a little donation fund in the top corner that's going to be bar tab.
right there. It's going to be right, right on the top right. And it's going to be infinite. So you can just keep going. It doesn't have a stop line. <clears throat> oh man, this deck hits this deck hits me like right in the feels. Brian Kibler used to play this deck. I used to watch all of his videos on Star City Games. I even got Brian Kibler to sign my knights. Because <laughs> his is January 1. That is kind of a dagger. Punishing Waterfalls. That's a legacy deck. Uh, I'm going to keep this hand. It's not very good. But we can get a Tarmoroy bolted. <clears throat> I wouldn't play against Boggles. Literally can't beat Boggles. Please be like a search for his content. A Chalice of the Void Suite. Mox Opal, Tormod Script. I have no idea what's happening. Beatdowns. <coughs> Is this turns? It's you are were. Chalice for two. That's a little more of a problem. All right. Um, ghost quarter myself, doesn't work, next turn, next turn I'll go three mana, fourth land, bang, get ya, I have no, I don't even care, all right, this game's over. Does that even work? One, yeah, it does. Oh, should have attacked my Tom Life. All right. I can't even. No, I'm actually just dead because I can't cast Kasali Pride Mage. So I'm just going to concede. Yeah, I can't Pride Mage him because of this. So we're going to we're going to call it. After further thinking, well, I don't have anything for this matchup. This has got to be a Stony Silence matchup. Like, even though none of his artifacts did anything, right? This, is, this has got to be, like, I can already start pulling out some, some shitters. So we must have, like, some cards that we can bring in. So that's seven, eight. Hell, I can even bring in Bonfire if I Miracle it to deal them, like, a shitload of damage. Um, they were they were mono blue. You, you're going with the bonfire because it's an X spell. Yeah, we kind of want to be fast. We kind of want to be fast. Maybe I just keep these stony. Uh, these stony silences have got to be good. I want all my big beefy hitters. I guess I can just cut two bolts. I'm not bringing this bonfire in. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it, Rafi. One of my favorite moments playing this deck right before I finished up. I was playing one of my best friends in the Ver the Vermont State semifinals. And he goes to attack and kill me <clears throat> with a bunch of lingering souls tokens. And my only out is to miracle a bonfire in my opponent's, in his, like, combat step. And I ended up doing it off of a horizon canopy. John, Rafi, we don't want to drop birds. And plus, bird is another attacker through ensnaring bridge. Yeah. We want that Keswick Wolf run. I actually could have won that game, because I could have I could have gone and got a Keswick Wolf run. All right, Heater. This bolt is going upstairs on turn one. <clears throat> and then I'm playing this Thalia, and I'm playing this Pride Mage, and hopefully my opponent just quits. Going upstairs. 
Expedition Map Sweet. Your opponent is pitching Needle and Sorcerer's Spyglass. Okay. Sorcerer's Spyglass hits lands, right? Correct me if I'm wrong there. Bam. Oh, that's a big boy. That is a big dump. Look at this guy. This guy is like that dude that if you know you're going to a bar that you probably shouldn't be at, you should bring this guy. Look, there's not a whole lot going on, but like he's just there. and He's ready to go. Oh, I'm snapping off this freaking expedition map here. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just jamming. Maybe I should just jam, or should I just smoke this expedition map? You know what? We're just gonna we're just gonna like. Which is the most damage? Three. Five. I'm gonna save this for a chalice. So I'm just gonna attack for two, and then play a smiter. It's non-mana non abilities. How have you been, Radial? I took a little time off streaming to, to uh, study for an exam that didn't go well. Sad. So now I'll just run out everything next turn, and if this Cried Mage gets bolted, then... Okay, so they go get a land. Turns off their Mox Opal, so it's kind of like they Stone Rain themselves, actually, which is kind of funny. Like, they're literally going to stone rain themselves if they go get a land, which is... Oh, now they... Okay. Um, yeah, it was... It was it was pretty... That was, that was a rough one. Okay, play Nactyl, play Pride Mage... He probably has a bridge. That makes sense. His deck does not appear have many good ways to deal with this guy here. All right. Thalia on the play. Um, are you just going to run it back? We're just gonna run it back. Probably mulligan to a like a Thalia or like a very or like a wild McCoddle. Wild McCoddle on one might be enough. Unless my opponent goes like Simeon Spirit Guide Chalice of the Void. That would suck. I now see how you get so many five folks. Heater. I can deal get ready when the second Thalia gets wrecked. I, I don't think I can mulligan this hand. Like, it's not great, but it's got one piece of interaction, two pieces of interaction. And, like, we have a Kessig Wolf Run, which is, like, kind of a spell if we flood out. Hey, Tacos, how you doing? What do we got? What do you got? Sun Droplet. Whenever you're dealt damage, we put a counter Sun Droplet. At the beginning of each upkeep, you remove a charge counter for Sun Droplet, and you gain one life. Okay. I don't think this really ma this matters. Like, this obviously matters, but I don't think this is super good against... Like, oh, I guess it's good against this deck. Oh, shoot. I'm so used to playing Death Shadow that I just shocked myself. Bird right on time. Play Bobble. Blood Braid isn't an animal. It's an elf, you know. What do we got? Chalice for one. I'm probably just gonna play my pride mage and then play like a forest or hold up, um, just some other spell. Like I'm, I don't think I'm gonna. 
I don't think I want to play this bird. I'll let take take all that back. Now we're gonna crack in. Yeah, we're changing it up here, Gary. Nice emo. Nice emo. This is actually the first modern deck I ever played, Gary. And then I'm probably just going to play this Wolf Run and Darksteel Citadel. Spell Skite. That's annoying. It's like kind of annoying. All right. So now we're just going to put as much mana in play as possible. So I'm just going to attack with all of these, get in for four damage. Put the Temple Garden. Play the bird, play the Tarmogoyf. So now we can just like wolf run to the moon, whatever we don't do. Oh, is this how this works? Each time they get, it gets even more counters. Well, this sun droplet's like actually kind of a problem. Turning the phone, nice. I know, yeah, we're, we're going to get, it's, it's going to be fair for the choke. Uh, so let's play this. Play bird. Play Tarmogoyf. Oh. And then collect a company game, and you're out like bad carbon ever play in my deck. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna gain some life. This thing's annoying. Sun droplet? Sun droplet's gaining like 40 life. And they're gaining two life a turn. I can't even race this. Uh, can't beat a bridge. All right, we can beat a bridge right here. We can beat a bridge. So now I actually do. I have to blow up. I have to blow up this spell. So I'm actually just gonna blow up this bridge. My opponent's gonna redirect to the spell skite. They have three cards, so I actually do still get to get in with a bunch of my creatures. Can't watch. This is just like, this is magic how it was meant to be. What does Knight do? Knight of the Reliquary, is that better or worse than just sending in with all of my idiots and then wolf running for... Two, three. So my nether relic worth three damage. Probably. I don't have any idea what his win condition is there. Cody Jones. He probably has another one in his hand, which is gonna make me sad. Come in with all these. I'll get the knight in play. Knight at least can like thin my deck. Maybe I'll get a ghost quarter so I can deal with this inventor's fair. Dahlia makes it harder to get zero cards. Combo deck. Yeah, so I'm definitely going to actually knight here because I can go get a ghost quarter and then deal with this. Oh, this sun droplet has been, like, much, much better than I thought it was going to be. We're going to play out our lands because we want all of our mana. So this is four tap. So if they do anything with this, they can't use this. And this doesn't redirect the, um, at least doesn't redirect here. Like they can't redirect this is what I'm saying. Watch well, it be very slow affinity. We're finding, it's too late. Trading post, discard a card, you gain four life. Combo, I don't think I can beat this trading post. All right. All right, well, now we're going to snap off and kill this. Oh, the Inventor's Fair? Yeah, we're going to kill this Inventor's Fair. 
Oh, he can actually steal my wolf run, which is kind of sad. Hey, buddy. No. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going to cast it. Do I let him steal the wolf run? Probably not. Where's my ghost quarter? Get rid of that. I guess I can go wolf run for like one, two, three, four. Nah, there's no sense of even wolf running because I actually can wolf run the one he blocks, assuming he blocks like a Tarmogoyf. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Nothing. You're just making noise. Oh no, he did something. I'm watching you. Oh, he's only gonna get to use that thing once. Let me tell you what. You got you got one shot. Oh, I got a, my own Thalia's. What a joke. One shot with the island, bro. You can even tech edge this, so it doesn't really matter. One time. I don't think I can win. I just like don't actually think that I can win. Yeah. Got to that. Took me a hot second. Create a go. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing, Philly? All right. And then I'm just going to start turning. Eventually, I mean, I don't really think I can stop him from finding a bridge. But. Got him for five damage there. What a lull. Yeah, the Thalia's like the Thalia's are just very like it's Thalia's just the best option that this deck has against like punishing water. What they do? They played an Academy Ruins, Snaring Bridge. All right. All right, Bird. It's your time. This, all this does does two damage to my opponent because they just redirect it or just take it. One of the two only really does one. And I at least thin my deck out here for this night. But I might honestly I might not play this game very much longer. Because like I'm like 3% to win this game. And it's gonna take a long time to get to that 3%. So, it, this might just, but it just might not be worth it. Sun Droplet. Okay, so that actually just paces me. So I should have killed the Sun Droplet. But I only had one way to deal with this thing I didn't even knight. Whatever. Gains a bunch of life. All right, we're good. I'm not going to put, we're not going to go through that. Blood Rail from the Life. Gas. Man, I'm just trying to have fun, and you're over here doing this. Cody Jones, I'm not about it. I have better things to do with my life. Hope everyone's having a good night, at least. That was fun.
Nathan, seven months. We're getting we're getting pretty serious here. Heater. I think. His win condition is tilt. You are right. All right, we're playing Bogles. This is another tough one. Oh, they didn't have. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Kasali Pride Mage coming in hot. This guy's going to be a Dryad Arbor. Man. This Pride Mage is going to take us to the Promised Land. I probably play it. I'm going to play it next turn so I can get in more damage. Oh, my God. We got two of them. We drew them both. This is what I'm talking about. Crack you for four. Five next turn. No, oh, well, six. Yeah, five next turn. Uh oh. I can't win. I kind of can win. So I can just blow up the Rancor here if my opponent can't really. I think I'm just going to play another Pride Mage. And just get our Exalted on. <sighs> I might blow one of these up at the end of the turn. Because I'm probably not going to be able... Like if I hit, I'm probably going to cast Bloodbred Elf next turn. All right, this thing is huge. I need a path to exile really bad. Slippery, slippery, okay. So, I could just blow, does this go back to the hand when Ranker's putting the graveyard in the battlefield? Combo. I need to find a path pretty bad. I could just blow up this one, then have a prayer of blocking it. So if I blow up this one, it saves me three points. I'm already at 13. Jesus. All right. Take an eight. Um... Play this Tarmogoyf. And probably not attack. Because I can double block this. They have nothing. Alright. Alright. Then we get to Cascade next turn and then probably just concede. Sad. We're gonna draw another card. So it's such a beatable bows draw. We didn't win. Keen sense. Okay. When Tarma Wife sucks. Tarma Wife is it's not doing its job right now. Alright. We're good. Okay, so against this deck, my Dharmies aren't good, my Paths aren't good, my deck's not good. Go here, probably look to bring in, I mean, these stat, like this guy's a slam dunk, Thalia's good against this deck, because it taxes their mana, um, so these definitely come out. I could bring in the bonfires because they're probably better than like scavenging oozes. I usually like sweepers against bogles whenever I play Death Shadow because sometimes they keep hands that are like pretty anemic. I'm gonna assume that these elves aren't actually that great. Because the scavenging ooze, like if I have to set up a huge block to try to take down something, the scavenging ooze at least can gain a little life. 
Is, is Bonfire the target? It's his target player? All right. You're right, Rafi. It's been a hot minute. So I, I thought it was just the opponent. There's X damage to target player and each creature controls. You're right. Yeah, I think we're just going to do this. Glad you're looking out for me. Would like to play first. All right. I don't think I can mulligan hands like this. Like I got one, two. They mulligan a six and have a ley line. It looks like they put a card at the bottom. So they don't have a ley line, but that doesn't really matter. We just hope that they mulligan a six and then have like a real clunky hand. Get the mountain next turn. I should have got like stopping grabs and then get the planes. All right, no one drops good for the home team. So we're gonna get the mountain. Attack for three. Play Tarmogoyf. Get my squire around. Oh, my moto. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Oh, oh, baby. Oh, man. So how does this work? If I just attack into this and then bolt it, does it die? Because the Tarm Life grows and eats it in combat? I think that's how that works, but I'm not exactly sure. Does anybody else know how this works by any chance? That's not how it works. It takes it, what does it do? Does it take it out of combat? If enchanted creature would be destroyed, instead remove all damage from it and destroy this aura. Okay. So, so if my if my opponent blocks, let's say, blocks a Tarmogoyf here, then I just bolt it, then my Tarmogoyf comes a 2-3, then it dies? Yeah, that's what I thought. It does tap for a green mana, but I'm not beating a Blossoming Defense at any point in this game. I am going to hold, I'm just going to play Wild Nakatl. Though, I am going to hold up uh, because if my opponent goes like white source into uh, Daybreak Hornet, I want to be able to uh, hit this Dryad Arbor because it's going to take the whatever it is off the battlefield. It hits the Daybreak Hornet as well. Looks like that's what's happening. Okay, so I'm going to let my opponent attack. No, shoot! Shoot! I thought it was a Pride Mage. Oh my gosh. Alright, now we just toss this game too. Oh my god, I literally just talked it out and then didn't do it. I talked it out, right? And then I just, like, didn't do it. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> like, I literally was like, here's how we're going to beat it. Oh, wow, this kind of trades with it. But then I can't cast. Oh, my gosh. We're done there. I was literally like, hey, I'm going to play a good play here by doing this. And then as soon as I was given the opportunity to do what I talked about, I was just like, nah, we're not doing it. Oh, it has been one of those days. I could have won that game. Probably would have won that game if that would have happened. Probably would have won. TJ Poole. I played against this guy earlier. I think he's playing Storm. I guess we'll keep this. Put this on the bottom. 
But yeah, I think this guy's playing Storm. Nope. Failed pep talk, yes. 100%. Alright, I'm going to get this Noble Hierarch. Probably killed. Hey, we got a turn 2 4 4, which is pretty sweet. It's not really doing anything, but Razor Bridge ticket. Maybe playing Band Company. No? I'm <laughs> playing against Bubbles again. <sighs> so sad. I guess I deserve this after like tossing savagely to Bogles. I should have to play Bogles again. Like that's what I deserve. Tapped. Oh man. So I'm gonna play a tapped and then pass the turn. Them not playing a tap surely means that they have a play. Okay. Protection from creatures. All right, it's 4-4. Four, four. So my opponent has, like, stone nothing. We actually kind of can raise that. They do have to have stone nothing. If my opponent just holds back here to block, I'm going to play the Kessie Wolf on attack and just trample over. We're going to get in here for two points of damage. You get a bottle. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what's going on right now. Two points. Gotcha. Winning the race. Next turn I get to grow my knight by two points. My opponent's so dead. But joke's on you. Oh, man. God, maybe my Bogle's opponent is going to give me a chance to win again. And then just like be like, nah. I don't need it that bad. All right, or they're not. Maybe they are. Okay. All right, so now what do I do? I'm probably just go get a Raging Ravine, or just maybe I just try to make this knight huge. The problem is I get fetch lands, it just tings me for damage. I can't like actually kill my opponent in two turns here. Like that's just wishful thinking. Core Spirit XR. Alright, I'm gonna path that. Look at that, we got a two we got we didn't even get a two for one because the core spirit dancer drew a card. What a card. So my knight is going to be a seven power next turn. Wow. I don't understand why my opponent isn't attacking. Like they must have something like a daybreak coronet. I can't. I can't imagine what they have. No, I totally. So Nathan, I was sitting here and I was like, 
oh, I'm going to make this, you know, intelligent play, and I'm going to do the right thing here to beat, like, my Bogles player. And then the opportunity came for me to do that, and I literally just didn't do it. I clicked OK. You know, I had a chance to win the game, and I just totally was like, OK, after I just talked out how I was going to beat it. It's quite embarrassing, the truth be told. Dude, this night is going to be so big. Look at that. There's another beef eater. Beef eater. We got Naya, red, green, one. Okay. So now we go get the knight, make the knight a 9-9. Nine, nine. The end of the turn. I bolt them. They go to 12. We can cast a wolf on for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we can for 1, 2, 3, turn on. 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's 13. So the knight's actually lethal next turn with the Kessig Wolf run. So unless my opponent draws a way to like gain life, I can't actually start attacking through this, which is kind of sweet. All right, that's bad. Though that might give him a false sense of confidence now that he has a blocker. God, if we win this game, Oh my god, no way. All right. Oh, that messes it up. Okay, so bolt this. Make my knight. Nine power, attack, play this, attack with each, that's 13, turn on, one, two, three, four, that's 17, he can only block one of it, so I think I got it. Yes, I fucked it all up. Let's not sacrifice a red source because we need those. Yeah. So I have to wolf run whichever one he blocks. God, no way. I don't know. We totally won this game because my opponent tossed it. They should have attacked, been attacking with this way sooner. All right, turn it on. And one, two, three. <laughs> That's. That's so dumb. <sighs> All right. Take it how you can get it. When you kill a... F yeah, that was, that was unreal. All right, so let's get this Thalia's in play. I think we're going to side with the same way we did last time. Cut these, cut these. I think that was it. I'll grab another beer. I'll be back. All right, submit.
All right, we have Athalia. So we're going to lead off lead off on Noble Hierar, or on Wild Nicotl, then play Thalia on turn two. I just like, hope that's enough. Then we'll get a six and capped. Slippery, slippery. Stomping ground. And hopefully they just like kept a one lander with a bunch of enchantments that cost like two. All right. All right. There's half of the there's half the recipe. Yeah. Coming in hot. God, this is awesome. Probably still not going to win, but like still pretty awesome. Got super lucky there. And now my opponent can't play anything. Just another Bogle. Okay, so now I'm still going to attack with this because I, I will trade an Ethereal Armor and a Slippery Bogle for this Wild Mikado. And then I'll play a Loxodon Smiter. Play this big boy. That's a big boy. And his, his land pings him, which is actually... Oh, uh oh we can't win. Opponent hit another land drop. All right. Can't win anymore. Now I just need to like, play enough things out and just one-shot them. Looks like. And just pass the turn. Oh. Oh. So my when I used to play this deck, I used to play. Now I remember I used to play Fulminator Mages in my sideboard also because I, my whole plan against combo decks was Thalia plus Fulminator Mage. That was just all I did. All I did was like just mana denial. Okay, so my opponent, well, that's actually kind of another way to win. So they go block, block, I get him for six. Yeah, so we're not good yet. We do have a lot of mana, so there's a chance that next turn I could start to do some serious damage. Even if I don't do anything, next turn I can just attack for one in the air with two, three, or turn on, then two. I can attack for three in the air. Next turn. So if my opponent blocks both the smiters next turn, then I just attack for three, six, eight. Wolf run kills them. So I need to be able to interact. This is my path. Path my Thalia. That's bad. That means here incoming, incoming daybreak cornet. God, we almost stole this one. We don't deserve this win after after like winning the last one. That would just be asking way too much. Yeah, there's Daybreak Coronet. I actually don't have enough. I can't put enough power in front of that. So I'm going to take one draw step and then hopefully find a um, whatever it is, uh, Kasali Pride Mage. No. Yeah, so now, I, yeah, so for next time I play this deck, I'm going to play Thalia's with Fulminator Mages because that's how we used to do it. That was how I used to beat up. 
That's how I just used to combat the combo decks. Just tax their mana base. I think ultimately why I got off of this deck was like you were just a big dumb creature deck. And as soon as the Eldrazi got printed, wow, this hand's really good. It's very disruptive. Not much of a clock, so I don't have to work on that. But as soon as the the uh, as soon as the Eldrazi got printed, you were just like a, a much worse version of their deck because of like Thought Knots here, Reality Smasher. They were just harder to deal with. I probably can just like mine my life total. Honestly, there's no need to go nuts. Next turn, play Thalia, poke for one. Okay, this Glade Cover Scout. Okay. So we're gonna play the Thalia, so the next turn I can play the Pride Mage, and then I can so I can attack for four with the Thalia, hold up a Pride Mage activation, and bolt them. Actually, can't hold up. I could hold up. I can't hold Pride Mate up. I can hold up Pride Mate activation. I can't hold up Pride Mate activation and Lightning Bolt them. Can't do that. All right, that's gonna get Lightning Bolted. Well, might as well just get a basic. Get in there for four. Bolt this. Did I punt this game or was it last game? Okay, get that. Can't believe I only have 110 pounds, 110 punts in my my streaming career. It's just unreal. Gonna attack with a Thalia next turn. Okay, Spirit Mantle. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna just attack with Thalia because if I have to blow up this Pride Mage. Wow, okay, so we might actually just burn our opponent out of this game. This is you need more than one watchers for punts. You are right. You are right. We I was up to like 20, and then I did that whole thing where I was like, we're going to make this sweet play, and then I just didn't. So I put it on an 8. And then hopefully double bolt them, then both my creatures are lethal. Yeah, you are dropping dropping the fire. Philly would have been disappointed. That's why Philly was went to sleep. He got up and all excited, then he's just like, nah, I'm, I'm disappointed in you. I can't believe you do that. <laughs> uh okay. All right, so now we just double bolt them, and then we kill them because they can't cast spells. Oh my god! I'm gonna beat Bogles. Look at that! We drew three lightning bolts of our four. That takes some serious talent. Then we attack with both of these. Point blocks one of them. And then we get there. All 
All right, they're dying of first strike damage. Go team. All right, let's go back to see if we can make the money back. I'll be happy if I make my money back with this deck. It has been a while. Now we are learning how misbuilt it is. How sweet would have been if I had won that one that I could have won, that we didn't just toss. I totally would have won that game. Now, assuming that I would have beat them while I was on the draw is slim to none. All right, sounds good. Turn to spider. Our opponent's O and O. Hopefully we're not playing against a combo deck. That's just like how this deck works. All right, Forest on the other side is usually good. Okay, Arbor Elf. So let's see. Do I want to bolt this? Yeah, I probably do. Then I can play Scavenging Use next turn. And I can attack for four the turn after. Opponent doesn't have a little play. All right. So we at least are hitting a land drop next turn. It's not necessarily the land we're looking for, but it is a land. Opponent's probably going to Blood Moon me this turn, even though they fetch. I guess they need a red source anyways. What is this green at the end of the turn? Are they cycling something? Are they dismembering my scavenging use? Yeah. All right, don't moon me. Just straight up concession to Blood Moon. All right, we can beat that. I'm just going to path it right now, even though it's going to accelerate them to a Blood Braid Elf. Yeah. Well, I actually can do it on the upkeep. So we don't guarantee get Blood Braid Elf next turn. I think my first priority is to get this Loxon Smiter in play and get a clock. And then I'm going to try to get these knights in a play to just give me some staying power. Oh, they had the land. So here comes the elf. Oh, no. Oh, it's just the Hunt Master. Okay. Whatever. All right, that's pretty good. So let's go see if our opponent tries to flip that. Because they might just like pass the turn, and if they pass the turn, I'm just going to bolt this Huntmaster. Because if they do pass the turn, they get to hit my Noble Hierarch, especially if they play like a Blood Moon. No, if they play Blood Moon, it's not going to flip, though. All right, that's this thing's gonna be hard to race. Glory bringer. Wow, that just eats my Loxodon Smiter. Holy shit! At least we have to kill the Huntmaster. Take six. Are they just like not gonna exert it? What's going on? They're only attacking with that. Okay. Maybe they hit my Hierarch. Maybe they have a Blood Moon. I feel like if you're exerting this, then you shouldn't be attacking. You should be attacking with everything. Like why not just... If I don't draw a fetch land, he's going to be able to kill my knight too, which kind of sucks. Because even if I get to untap with it one time, at least path kills that. Could have held my bolt. Oh. That right there is what we call in the business the Glorybringer blocker. That actually lets me 
using the knight. Well, actually, so like one, two, three, four. I can just animate the Raging Ravine and hold the knight up. So if he tries to kill this, I can actually knight for a ghost quarter and then ghost quarter myself. Unless I just have another dragon. Or is it just a hunt master? Chandra. Holy shnikes. We are super dead. Bird. The problem is I can't even play my knight because it just gets whacked. Path Exile. Kasali Pride Mage. Just whack this. Nah, we're good. Yeah, we're dead. All right. So against this deck, I don't know why, but I feel like I just always want these. This on the play against any deck that has spells. I'm probably crazy wanting that, but we probably have better options here. Domri's fine on the play as like I can fight um, some of my creatures with their early creatures. It's removal. Um, bring in choke. What card's not great? Probably like I think I want these three here because like this is Blood Moon. This just cleans up all the crap. I'm definitely boarding my Domri's out on the drop. I think I want them on the play. Maybe I don't want. Maybe I don't want all these. Maybe this ooze, like a third ooze, is probably not important enough. I kind of want to be fast, so maybe I want all my mana. Maybe I just like hit submit. Because I kind of want all these cards. And like these are nice. I think my Domries are gonna be worse. I'm definitely boarding these out on the draw. I want these now just because they're they're like removal while I'm pressing the advantage. But I don't think I'm going to want them on the plot, on the draw. They're just going to be too slow. I think I'm going to submit and then look to board these two out for these two on the draw. I can class Bloodfire through Blood Moon. You are right about that, sir. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep it. They don't play a lot of spot removal. And if we draw land, if we draw land, the hand's great. And even if we miss, we can play scavenging use on two. So it is a gamble. And I wouldn't keep this against an interactive deck, something that could bolt my hierarch on one. But the odds of him bolting my hierarch aren't very high. This could be less than suboptimal, or less than optimal. But This will probably be my last match of the night as I've got to go walk the dog and I kind of want to watch the uh, modern Super League. Hey, Agran, Agrandel10 donated $10. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Making my night. Thank you very much, sir, for your kindness. It's just Utopia Sprawl. Land. No, didn't get it. Uh, just gonna play this and attack. I guess no, that was stupid. I should have played my Pride Mage because it's one more. Well, I lose out on a point, but I could at least hit this if my opponent misses next turn. Or they cast Blood Moon. Yeah, that was so stupid. All over the place. And I get Moon, this is just 100% my fault. Just like 110% I deserve this. 
I deserve to be Blood Moon. We could get our knight in play. Edgar. Edgar, thank you very much for the donation. I appreciate that. Stone Rain. All right. All right, we have the no land heater. Do you frequent the channel, Edgar? I, I don't. I don't recognize your name too too much. Do you do you lurk, or is this one of your first times in the uh, in the chat? We're super dead. First time. Well, I appreciate it. Glory B. That's probably going to do it. This exerts on my only mana source. If we draw a runner, runner lands, we still lose, more than likely. All right. We're going to concede here. Okay, so let's go back to this deck here. Just watching for tips. Well, I hope you you probably you probably won't learn much at this stream. At least not on the after the after work shifts. The after work streams tend to be a little fast and loose. So how would I play with this deck moving forward? I think moving forward, I would change my sideboard so that I had like three of these and three Fulminator Mages. Because I do think that the plan of like Thalia plus Fulminator Mage is very good against combo decks. Um, they would probably just be these chokes, honestly, because they do a similar thing. And then I was pretty happy with these slots here. I think that these slots are fine. I mean, maybe they can be worked around here a little bit. The main deck... Um, like, there could be, like, maybe you want a card like Voice of Resurgence or Tireless Tracker in your 75. The Scavengers might be better as a Tireless Tracker, or maybe we could cut a Stony Silence and have it be a Tireless Tracker. But I'm not super, I'm not super exactly sure, because I haven't explored this archetype in years. But I did enjoy playing it. And, uh, like, Edgar, you'll be able to find the, uh, the replay of this stream on my YouTube channel, which is linked below afterwards, so... I hope everyone has a good rest of their night, and I will see you all. I'll probably be back tomorrow, and I think tomorrow I'll either be streaming. Where is this? I'm either going to stream some Tribal Zoo, which is the second modern deck I ever had right here, or I'm going to play one of someone that watches my stream asked if I could play some Death Shadow Pyromancer. So I'm gonna give might give this a whirl tomorrow night as well. Oh, thank you very much for the bits, Edgar. I appreciate them all. And I hope everyone has a fantastic rest of the night, and I'll be back probably about this time tomorrow. So see y'all later.